What's up everybody, the Poets here. Today's video is going to be about Wi-Fi and really just maximizing the settings you have with your current Wi-Fi setup, all right? So we're not going to get into, hey, what products you should buy or anything like that, no. Um, I did a review on things like upgrading to Wi-Fi 6, you know, so this is like the Asus uh, AX3000 and then of course the, the bigger boy, the Asus AX6000, both Wi-Fi 6, AI mesh network, so feel free to check that video out. I'll put a link somewhere around here. And uh, make sure you subscribe for future stuff, because actually this little bad boy here has been out of stock for months on Newegg and everywhere in the United States. It got in stock, I got it that same day, and then out of stock again that very next day. So stay tuned for this, so subscribe for that one. Um, and But back to the reason for this video is really we're going to teach you how to fish, all right? So it could be my Wi-Fi settings are exceptional for me, but horrible for you. So we're gonna go through a couple of things so that you know what to do to get the best possible speed and signal for where you live and maybe where you work too, but really where you live because you should be staying at home, all right? So let's get into the first easiest one right now. All right, so for this first trick, uh, I am above uh, my kitchen here. These are, you know, top of the kitchen counters. And so this is where I keep the AX3000 right now. And I did a video on you know the Wi-Fi 6 and stuff in terms of why I have which router um, where, uh, because this is the second one on the AI mesh network. But for this purpose of this video, it's irrelevant. Um, basically, we have the four antennas here. You know, your router may not have any antennas that you can move around. You might have two, you might have one. Um, but the antennas are very important. So I have this little disc here, this little paper. And if I place it down here, you'll see that it's kind of a, a ring. And so the Wi-Fi signal actually is broadcasting on this plane of existence, I'll call it this way, all right? So for this one here, if I were to move it down like this, now it's broadcasting on this plane of existence. So this is kind of good if you have a, uh, say if you're working downstairs or upstairs, you know, you have computers where uh, they're just not on this floor, all right? So if the antenna is like this, it's not gonna be ideal for the same plane here, the same floor. Um, and if it's up like this, then that's not gonna do any justice for uh, computers or laptops that may be upstairs or downstairs, okay? So you kind of have to think of where is your equipment. It does help to angle as well uh, so you want to kind of like point to exactly where you want that device to have the best possible reception i have this like this because for my condo here i'm on the second floor all right and i like to be outside by the the pool area and patio area so i have to go through the next condo all right so there's people i have neighbors here and then downstairs and then out further so I'm kind of at an angle, all right? So it's not the same plane at all, and it's not directly downstairs or upstairs. So I'm at an angle. So I have these at an angle as well. And then of course for these two, I want it on the same plane because you know I need a, a good signal for my floor as well. So it's kind of getting the best of both worlds, all right? So feel free to kind of use my little cheat sheet here. This is for the same plane. And then this is for upstairs, downstairs. Keeping it simple, all right? Yes, there's more advanced technicalities about it, but this will help you get a much better signal, very easy, at the cost of a piece of paper. Sorry, I said this was free. My bad. The next step is I want you to download an app, kind of like a, a Wi-Fi analyzer app. Uh, this is the one I use by uh, Farproc, F-A-R-P-R-O-C. Uh, it does contain ads, but it's been pretty light and doesn't seem to be a virus-driven type of thing. So um, just hit open after you in install it. And um, what you're going to see here are a couple of different bands. So these are kind of like all of my neighbors. These are all the Wi-Fi signals that are going on around here. And you can kind of go through the different channels by scanning through here. And of course, change the band from 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz right up there. So we're going to focus on 5 gigahertz right now. So you're gonna see here all these bands kind of changing. Now there's different channels here, 149, 151, you know, all the way through 161. And so my Wi-Fi, the Poets, you know, is the predominant one here. I'm on an AI mesh network, so you're gonna see two signals here because I have two routers broadcasting the same signal. 
And um, so this is perfectly fine. I'm the strongest signal here. I'm inside my place, right next to my routers. Good. Um, let's kind of take a look at the 2.4 gigahertz. And you'll see here that, yes, I'm also broadcasting that. I have a couple of devices that aren't on five, five gigahertz. So uh, I do still use a 2.4. And, you know, so that's very strong signal there as well. So I'm perfectly fine when it comes to uh, being inside my place because I'm the strongest, strongest signal. But let's uh, take a look outside though. So as you can, so as you can tell, you know, it's beautiful out here. So yes, I want to be able to experience the Wi-Fi when I'm out here. So let's take a look to see what signals we're getting when I'm kind of at my, I call this my outdoor cigar lounge. All right, so we're looking at the signal here and mine, the poets here, is just kind of in the mix here. So if I stay on that same channel that I was when I was inside, I'm not gonna get the best strength. But if we look over here, channel 165 is wide open, not a single user over here. So my routers can actually use channel 165. So when I'm out here and I want the best possible speed and this is just a congested mess, I will actually change my Wi-Fi settings to channel 165. It's slower than the channel I'm currently on when I'm inside, but when I'm out here, it's actually uninterrupted, perfectly fine, great speeds, and therefore it might be worth it. Okay, so you can see when I was outside, channel 165 was wide open. When I'm inside, pretty much it almost doesn't matter what channel I'm on, but channel 161 is the strongest, fastest signal for when I'm inside. So let's log into the system, the, the Wi-Fi router, and see what our options are. So this is like a standard uh, Spectrum Internet Wi-Fi router. It's, it is for gigabit internet, but in my opinion, it sucks. That's why I upgraded to the um, AX3000 uh, and 6000 for ASUS so that I could have a signal outside. Now, in order to log into whatever Wi-Fi router you have, on the back, typically there's like usernames and passwords, uh, as well as a web address or uh, something basically showing you exactly how to log into it. And then there you can change the password from maybe the standard admin admin or something like that to something you'll be more secure with, all right? So let's log in here to my SUS uh, Wi-Fi router and I'll show you some of the steps. All right, so when I am logging into my router, you'll see it's the RT AX88U, that's the uh, ASUS AX6000 router. And uh, then I'll just pop in my username and password. So I'm logged in now, and I was able to click on the wireless area here to get me to my wireless options, you know, for the 2.4 gigahertz as well as the five gigahertz here. Now, your own setup will be something similar to this. You're gonna see like wireless or LAN, uh, WAN, and uh, maybe even IPv6. Uh, so we're just gonna focus on the wireless area because this is very, very simple. For five gigahertz, and for 2.4 gigahertz. So let's focus on the five gigahertz because that's what most people should be using. If you're on 2.4 gigahertz uh, and you have a five gigahertz option, this could be why your Wi-Fi is slower because you're not getting the, the faster speeds of the five gigahertz signal. So that's a nice little tip right there. And I'm always surprised when people aren't aware that they have a five gigahertz uh, capable modem. And so if you have like an iPhone or fairly newer Android phone, newer meaning like the last few years, you're gonna want this uh, five gigahertz speed. Now, we're gonna go down here to uh, channel. So channel control or control channel. Most times you're gonna see it set to auto, all right? And auto can be perfectly fine uh, because it's gonna find the best signal for where you are next to the router. But as you saw when I was outside, channel 161, which is what it's currently set at, was completely congested, especially this time of day. So if I really wanted a nice, clean, uninterrupted signal, I can go to channel 165, hit apply. The router will kind of do its own thing for a little bit, maybe like 10, 15 seconds, and then boom, I'm on channel 165. Uninterrupted, no other you know, competing signals from my neighbors, and that's perfectly fine. But one channel 165 is a slower channel compared to 161. So even though um, 165 is nicer, I still keep it on 161 because through my own experience, the speed difference is not noticeable for the work that I do when I'm outside, okay? Uh, so let's check out the 2.4 gigahertz. 
2.4 gigahertz I do leave on auto because I almost never use it and uh, even when I'm outside I, I'm still on the 5 gigahertz channel as well. 2.4 gigahertz is a slower signal it goes further has better range uh, but it does get a lot more interference so if you have a neighbor that's suddenly turning on the microwave for example you might get some interference you know so um, so I just leave this on auto uh, typically the channel differences do make a big difference so definitely use that Wi-Fi analyzer uh, but for me auto is fine so this is basically all you need to know so 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz what channel you're on and everything else that's default, I wouldn't mess with too much. If you do have a newer Wi-Fi 6 modem, then definitely make sure that that Wi-Fi 6 capability is active uh, because that's going to allow you for not only much better range, but much better battery life for your devices as well. So that's about it. So I hope this was very informative for everybody. Of course, a uh, nice little summary. Make sure your antennas are pointed in the right direction, all right, for where you need that device. Make sure that you have the right channel selected. It could be a different channel for if you're right inside next to your router or outside by a swimming pool, okay? Uh, so feel free to subscribe. I got some nice, interesting stuff coming up. Hit that like button, and uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Put as many comments down below. I love reading all the comments, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.